Welcome to Papa's Workshop. Well, today we're adding drawers. Yes, that's right. We're putting drawers into this dining room table and they are great. These are oversized drawers, but they are full extension and they're going to add a lot of story space to something that you don't typically see. So let's get started. The first step in making the drawers for this dining room table is cutting the ribbon. Now this board is actually going to be saved. It will become the drawer front. Now I'm using the blue tape to make sure that I don't have any tear out. Now I have my son holding the other end so that we can very carefully lift this board out and set it aside for later. The blocking that has to be put in at this point is very, very important and it serves several purposes. The first thing, it did have to get cut at a five degree angle on one side. That matches the table leg because it helps to be able to support the table leg itself and it supports this end of the table itself. And we're using the pocket hole screws to be able to screw this into position along with glue to be able to hold this. The other purpose of this blocking is to be able to hold the drawer slide themselves. So this is going to be the, in essence, the box that is going to support the drawer. Now it's very important that this is exactly square. Now we've already got lines marked, but we're also using the speed square to just check the alignment and make sure that everything is perfect. Because if this stage is not perfect, then the drawers will not work properly. So it's well worth us spending a little extra time to make sure that this is exactly where it needs to be. So while I held it in place and maintained that exact location that it needed to be, my son had the drill to screw in the pocket hole screws and that ensured that everything was in alignment and nothing moved. Now here is a different viewpoint so that you can see how this blocking is actually supporting the leg itself on the table. It rests right up next to it and it provides ample support to be able to make sure that this table is very very stable. Oh, and by the way, yes, we did use glue. You can see it seeping out there. Glue is very important to be able to help hold this in place. Now, we didn't put glue on the side with the legs because the legs can come out when we are transporting this. So don't put glue where the legs are or you'll have a problem first time you have to move it. Now that all the blocking is in, it's time to set up and do the layout for the drawer slides. Now these blocks are only two and three quarter inches wide and the drawer slides are not much smaller. So it's very important to make sure that you have this marked dead center in this space. Two reasons. One, you don't want the drawer slide to be above or below this blocking and the other reason is you want the drawers to operate properly. Now these drawers are very large. Even though they're very shallow as far as the depth, the width of these drawers are very large and it's very important that these drawer slides operate smoothly so that the drawer itself does not bind and it does not want to go in and out correctly. So again, take your time with this step to make sure that everything is aligned properly. For the drawers themselves, I'm using a half inch plywood. And I had already ripped this down to the two inches. And now we're just cutting these to length. And you notice I'm using the stop block over on the fence to be able to make sure that all of them are exactly the same uh, length. And I'm also using my new table saw sled with the dust collection. And it is working fantastic. There is no dust being thrown out from this sled. Now it's time to go ahead and assemble the drawers. And I'm doing this exactly the same way that I have made drawers in the past. And I'll put a link in the description 
uh, below as well as up top so that you can see the video where I go into detail on making the drawers for the cabinets. We are putting the bottom of the drawer and we're gluing it and nailing it directly to the bottom of the frame of these drawers. The staples that we're using is a 18 gauge one inch long staple to be able to secure the drawer bottom to the sides. And the good thing about this, we don't have to wait until the glue dries. The staples will hold it secure and we can continue to go right along with the construction and get this whole process finished in one day. These drawers being as large as they are actually makes it a whole lot easier with two people being able to work on it. Now we're putting staples every four or five inches apart and the reason for this is because the bottom of the drawer is literally attached to the bottom of the side any weight that we put onto the uh, drawer it'll be pushing down against the staples themselves and the glue and we certainly don't want that to fail over time. Well, the first drawer is finished and it's time to go ahead and assemble the second drawer. Again, we're just stapling the sides together. Now these are rabbit cuts so it just slips right in to position and staples in place. And of course, you can't forget the glue. Now I'm actually amazed at how quickly this all went together. With both of us working in the shop and being able to assemble this, it went very, very quickly. Okay, with the side frames now completed, it's time to be able to put the bottom on. And of course, you want to make sure you have the best side down so that you'll be able to see that when you look inside the drawer. And now it's time for glue. Glue, glue, and more glue. Going to have that all the way around so that it will hold very, very well. And then the bottom just drops on and we'll staple it in place also. With both drawers finished, it's now time to be able to install them into the dining room table. And to be able to do that, we're going to use a little bit different technique. The one that I don't think I have seen anywhere ever. Now the table is upside down on the workbench. And I have a piece of quarter inch MDF down as a spacer. And then what I have to do is be able to put the drawer face down into the position between the drawer slides and I want that exactly where it needs to be on top of that quarter inch MDF. Then at that point I can go ahead and pull the drawer slide out and we'll be able to attach the first screws at that front leading edge. Now again because these drawers are so long being able to make sure that they are properly aligned and exactly in position is very very important. Now I'm double checking to make sure that everything is level and that that drawer is sitting exactly on top of the MDF and that it will slide easily between these drawer slides. I also have to make sure that the dining room table is actually sitting correctly on the workbench. Again, everything has to be flat and level at this point. Once I've got all this verified, then it's time to go ahead and put the first screws in to the drawer to be able to hold this drawer slide in place. And the funny thing about this is my son has learned that using the old school tools with his Yankee screwdriver has turned out to be a very, very effective tool. Actually a lot better than a regular screwdriver and also better than the drill. You can control how quickly that the screw goes in and you can avoid over tightening and stripping out the screw. It works really good. He loves it. And he keeps this now close by anytime he's working on the cabinets. Now with that first screw in place, you have to come around to the other side of the drawer. In this case, you walk around the entire workbench to get that second screw in place. Now sliding the drawer out, that will give you the opportunity to be able to see the location to put that center screw in. And by sliding the drawer slide out of the way, you have access to put in that center screw. The final screw that goes into the back will actually be done a little bit later on 
when we flip over this dining room table and we'll actually pull the drawer out to the full extension and we'll be able to put that last uh, screw in at that time. But for now, this side is done. We're going to go ahead and reset up and set the other drawer in place and get it screwed into position. So here's a look at the completed installation. You can see how the bracing was in place to hold the legs as well as that same bracing that supports the drawer itself. The drawers are in place and they work perfectly. You can just easily pull and slide them out and these are full extension and then just slide them back in. This is a great addition on this dining room table. I'm glad he thought of it. This certainly adds a lot of storage space that will be underneath the dining room table that you can put all types of silverware or whatever in there. The only thing left now is to take that ribbon and put it back on for the drawer fronts. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.